everybody, how are you today? Do you have naturally curly hair like I do and are tired of using products that are toxic, like full of toxic ingredients and are expensive and don't work? I know I am. I'm tired of having my hair crunchy and feeling gross and looking like I'm either a grease ball or just a frizz ball. So today I want to share with you this awesome recipe that I make and I use and I love using all natural ingredients that don't cost a lot of money. So stay tuned. See you. Hi there, so you're joining me today to make this awesome all natural curl cream that doesn't cost at all expensive. So all you need is a jar, a simple one, just a glass jar. You're gonna need some aloe vera gel. Now make sure you read the ingredients and make sure that it's all natural, that the only ingredient is aloe vera. Um, I found this up at my health food store, it wasn't very expensive, super easy ingredient to find. So all natural aloe vera gel. You're gonna need some jojoba oil, which is one of my favorites as you can see. Um, some jojoba oil. You're gonna need some shea butter. Now, shea butter is um, hard at room temperature, but it gets soft when you work it in. And then you're gonna need some amazing Young Living products. Now, one of my favorite products is the Mara Shave Oil. Now, you can use this product for so much more than just shaving, and we're gonna use it today in our curl cream. So you're gonna need the Mara Shave Cream, and then you're gonna need your favorite essential oils. Now, I use Young Living because it's the the best oils out there. I know that they're not full of uh, toxic synthetic ingredients. I know that they are the best. So today I'm going to choose lavender, which is fantastic for hair, rosemary, which is also great for hair, and orange because it's one of my favorites and I love the smell that it leaves in my hair. So all I'm gonna do is, or all you're gonna do, because I already did it, is in a bowl, you're gonna put one tablespoon of the aloe vera gel, one tablespoon of your Mara hair um, shaving oil, one tablespoon of your jojoba oil, and two tablespoons of your shea butter, and then five drops of my essential oil. So in total, I'm gonna have 15 drops. And this made, um, I just remade this batch this morning, and this will last me typically like a month because it I, you don't need a lot. So you're gonna put it in a glass bowl, and you're just gonna use a hand mixer, or if you're really good at using a whisk, I would just use a whisk, but I'm not that patient, so I just used a hand blender and blended it all together, put it into my jar, and then when my hair is wet, I um, just put a little bit in my hand, like probably like a dime size, and then rub it in because the shea butter is still a little grainy, so you wanna use the heat of your hands to um, mix that shea butter, put it in your hair, um, try to get it everywhere, and then either let it air dry or use a diffuser. I like to use it, let it air dry just because, um, I don't, one, I don't have time, and two, I find that um, it just stays, the curls stay better. So there you have it. Super easy, all natural, toxic free, inexpensive, do it yourself hair cream that you know all the ingredients in there are um, safe and won't hurt your body or anything else. So, and that works. No crunch. I love it. Anyway, I hope that works for you guys. I would love to hear about it. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you guys later.